हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन कूल आई टी हेल्प दिस इज टूटोरियल पार्ट थ्री वर्किंग विद मार्क डाउन इन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड एजेंडा ऑफ दिस टूटोरियल सेशन इन प्रीवियस टूटोरियल पार्ट टू वी हैव सीन द कंपाइलेशन ऑफ सिंगल डॉट एम डी फाइल इन टू एस टी एम एल फाइल बट इन केस यू हैव सो मेनी फाइल्स देन वॉट यू विल डू यू डोंट नीड टू कंपाइल सिंगल फाइल एवरी टाइम we have a process to compile all files together also this automation will help you to <coughs> detect your changes in md file on the fly this will generate the corresponding html file so guys we will see the automation of this process of compilation in this tutorial session and here on your screen in this notepad file i have noted down all the steps and we will see all these steps one by one at first sight you will see this is difficult but i would say this is not difficult difficult but the steps are lengthy i will explain you each and every step and you can do this thing very easily let's get started with the step 1 so the in step 1 we are going to install the task runner and with the help of task runner we will perform our automation of compilation of markdown files so we need to install the gulp task runner globally with the help of node js so we will run few commands on the terminal and for this purpose make sure you are connected with the internet okay let's begin i'm inside the visual studio code and this is the same project uh, workspace which we have created in the tutorial part 2 now go to the global terminal menu option click on new terminal and you will be at this place here we will uh, execute first command then we will execute the second command so these two commands given in the description you can uh, take the reference from that place so i'm going to execute the first one have you go and this will take few minutes for the installation so we have to wait for that installation is still going on if you have a very good internet speed so there may be difference of few seconds but this generally takes time so i'm skipping the downloading step it's done and uh, now it's time to run the second command so go to the description and copy this npm install gulp gulp markdown it press enter and wait for the installation the second command will not take much time now we are on the prompt so we have executed two commands now we will verify our installation is successful or not okay now at we are at the verification step we need to run this gulp hyphen v command for the verification just type gulp space hyphen v press enter and you will see the message the cli version and the local version for that that means your installation is successful now we can proceed to the next step now i'm back here in the notepad file now we are going to perform the step 2 The step two is very easy. We are going to create a simple Gulp task. That is very easy. We will take the help of the Visual Studio Code. In the Visual Studio Code, we will click on some menu items and we will get a template file. In the template file, we will replace some text. So the text is available here in this notepad. I will show you. So guys uh if you have not created the project folder so open your vs code and create a project folder on your file system and open that folder in your visual studio code and we are going to create our file gulp file.js let me show you so this is our visual studio code and now you can see this is my project folder and we have these two uh, files here So I have selected the first file and I'm clicking here on this create new file icon and now I am typing gulp file.js. We need to create this file with the same name gulp file.js. When you create it you will see 
this file reside just below the our demo.md file that means this is present at the root level now in this file we need to write this script i will explain you the purpose of this script what it does so just copy this script from the description and paste it in your file in my case i have just copied and i'm going to paste it here in this blank file and just i have saved it now i'm closing the terminal and now i will explain you what is happening here or if you see the lines of code you can easily understand what is happening but for, i'm going to explain you what is happening here exactly we are trying to watch the changes of the markdown file suppose in your workspace in your project folder you have a many markdown files and you are selecting any one of them and trying to change it and you are doing the changes and saving that changes so this script will detect those files in which you have done the changes and at the same time that will be transferred to the gulp markdown this compiler and this will compile your md files in which you have done the changes okay will be compiled into the html files and the name of the html file will be same as the original md file and the directory will be same like uh, suppose you have file1.md file then the compiled file will generate file1.html with this name i hope this is clear now we are done with the step 2 so this is the gulp task we have created the task runner now we moving the further we need to run the gulp task gulp default task for this purpose we need to create the task.json file and we need to use the following code and this code also given in the description you can copy this code and i will show you how you will generate the task.json file in visual studio code this is very easy go back here in your visual studio code and uh, you can see task.json you can simply create a file as you have created .md file and .js file the same way you can create a blank file and copy this content from the description and paste it here now the things you need to change check at the line number 7 and line number 9 so when you generate the default task.json you will not get the exact thing so you need to copy this from the description and paste it inside the task.json file when you're done with the task.json we are ready to jump to the step 4 the purpose of this task this task will run in the background and this will keep watching your activity and this will detect the changes in the file you are doing and th only those file will be compiled to the html now we are going to run it as we have executed in the previous tutorial in that part 2 in the same way we will run it through the terminal global terminal manual when you execute it you will see this message on the terminal that means also you can see on the right hand side there is a progress bar which is continuously running that means this task is running in the background and this is on standby and waiting for your changes in the file so i am going to perform the activity so i have just opened the demo.md file here and i will do some small change here in this file and i will save it okay here we go so i have just saved the one line once i saved you can see that task runner fetched only the file which i have done the changes and compilation done and the corresponding html file generated on the fly you can see this is demo.html and the text which i have added here in the md file present here in the demo.html okay now again i will do one more ex uh, 
trial so i'm adding one more line here and going to save this file and we will see what will happen okay here we go i just saved it you can see two activities happened here in the terminal the starting and the finished so the task runner and our instruction for the compilation executed and uh, that task runner, runner detected the changes in uh, demo.md and uh, that demo.md is sent to compiler and the, after the compilation demo.html is generated now you can see the updated demo.html the line we have added here is present in demo.html as well so guys you have seen the use of this task runner this is running in the background and you don't need to worry that in which file you are changing you can select any of your md file and you can keep continuing do your changes and rest of the things will be handled by this task runner and the compilation will be done on the same time this is really awesome i hope you guys are clear on the process of uh, automating the markdown compilation in visual studio code and the last thing is uh, how to terminate this uh, background running default gulp task okay this is so simple you have to go to the top global menu and then there is an option to kill this task let me show you in the visual studio code i'm back here and uh, our task is running in the background and what exactly we need to do go to the terminal and then you can see here in the list we have the option terminate task just click on it and select the task name this is done the background task is terminated now so guys we have uh, the option to automate the markdown compilation in visual studio code with this process i hope you guys are clear on uh, all these concepts if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help